Okay, so we're using the curved transducer. We're going to go ahead and find that posterior iliac crest. Let's go back the other way. Okay, so there's a good shot. So there we are at eight centimeters of depth. Okay, we want to get it centered on the screen. Now I'm going to come down just to give you an idea. Midline is right here. Okay, so we're about four centimeters lateral to the midline of the spine. And I'm going to go to where the that crest fades away, and then we'll go on the screen right there. Okay, so show. Okay, great. So give me the Sarah's going to come in and spray. So we're going to remove that. You can see the indentation, and we know we want to be right in the middle of it, right there. Uh huh. And a little poke right here. You okay? Okay. Okay, now I'm right on the bone. Okay, so from here on, I know that I'm right on the iliac crest, right where I want to be, pointing straight up and down. Here we are, pointing straight up and down, but right on the bone, I can feel the bone. I'm going to slowly inject some lidocaine, so that's what you're feeling, okay? Okay. You doing all right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, I've got 30 cc's in the syringe. I may not use all 30, but whatever it takes to fully anesthetize from the skin down to the bone, to, down to the periosteum. And again, I'm all the way deep. I'm back directly on the bone here. Okay, and so now what we're going to do is I need the obturator back. We're going to leave that spinal needle in because that's our marker. If we take that out, we would have to use the ultrasound again to check our positioning. But if we leave this, we know it can confirm that we're right on the posterior iliac crest. Let me see some 4x4s. Four and so we're going to go away. This is the key. We're going to go away for five minutes, okay? Okay. Okay, so five. five minutes to the to the second. <laughs> and um, we're going to just leave this right here. And you can just relax on your belly right there, just like you're doing, okay? Okay. Okay, we're going to be right back. Pause. Yeah, okay, great. Okay, so here's our layout. We've got our scalpel. This is a blunt obturator for our jam sheety needle. Um, you can see the particular jam sheet needle I have has five holes. It has three on one side and two holes on the 180 degree opposite side. This is the sharp tip. You see that okay? Mm -hmm. And uh, we've got three 10 cc syringes. We have one 60 cc syringe. This cup has um, 12 cc's of heparin and the concentration is 10,000 units per one cc. We're just flushing this 60 cc syringe is what we use to collect our bone marrow in, so we're going to get on some gloves and um, hold on to that. These 10 cc syringes are what we use to aspirate the marrow. So we're just getting ready for that. We're going to put one cc approximately in each syringe every time we draw. How are you doing under there? Are you feeling okay? I'm fine. Okay. Right <laughs> I want to know how you're doing. I also want everyone to know that we haven't knocked you out and <laughs> no, <laughs> intubated I'm, you. <laughs> I'm still here. Okay. Um, and these are our sterile drapes. So I'm just going to reach over here and put these drapes on. Notice our spinal needle is still in position. sure we've flushed the bone marrow aspiration needle, the jam sheeting needle with heparin as well. We're going to coat the inside and outside of the needle. And then, as I said before, we're going to make sure there's about one cc in each syringe. Take some 4 by 4s here. And now we're going to test our anesthesia and make a little incision in the skin. Can you feel me touch you there? You feel that? Yeah. Is it different than over here? I touch over there, it's like different than right here. Yeah, I feel that, but not the okay. other. You tell me, we'll see here. We're done with it. Hopefully that's all you feel there. Okay? Yeah. Okay, 
so I'm on the bone. I'm on the bone right there, so you can see where we're at. We're directly on the bone there. I'm pointing straight up and down. I'm going to check and measure. I want to go between one and two centimeters deep or, um, to get through the cortex. Before I do that, I'll take my needle and just measure or try and feel the bone lateral and medial. All designed to make sure that I'm on the central part of the bone. So now we'll just use some manual power. And again, I'm always checking to make sure I'm straight up and down. Still looks pretty good. If anything, we'll correct an angle a little bit lateral never angle medial here, but for teaching purposes and for safety, straight up and down is usually a pretty good approximation. So there I am in one centimeter. There I am in a centimeter and a half, and we'll start there. Keep going. It stopped, but... Tell me when you're... That's right. A little pop here. You okay? Yeah. Is that real okay. painful, or are you okay? I'm okay. Okay. So now we're going to put on... Up to about seven or eight cc's. You doing okay? That hurts a little bit. Okay, I'll go a little bit slower. There's seven and a half. I'm going to pass this off so we can collect it in the 160 cc syringe. And now at the same depth, we're going to rotate 90 degrees and take the second syringe, also preloaded with heparin, one cc. How are you doing? Uh, it hurts a little bit, okay. but not bad. Okay. Just a little. On a scale of 1 to 10, how bad is the pain right now when we're drawing the marrow? Right now, this second. This second? What is it? It's only like a 1 right this second. Okay. A little pressure as we put the stylus back in. Oh, that hurt. <laughs> okay. Go very slowly. And now we're just going to go a half a centimeter deeper. Okay, this out a little bit. Mm. Now we're going to take our syringe and do the same process at this slightly deeper depth. Okay, so we'll show you some more in just a sec. Pause. So now this is our final depth. We need 12 more cc's of marrow to get to 60. And so we have our syringe. We're going to draw six cc's here. How are you doing? I'm okay. You hanging in there? Yeah, I'm Almost okay. done. You're in the home stretch. So there's six cc's there. And then we'll rotate 90 degrees. Okay, just take six cc's of that or whatever you need. And so when I'm passing off the syringe, I'm passing it off to one of my assistants who's collecting all of that in one 60 cc syringe. I'm going to gently replace the stylus here, but we're done with the bone marrow aspiration. Okay, mm -hmm. you made it. And now we're going to go ahead and just back out the needle. Okay, Leo, see if you can get a picture of that. So that's the little incision. It's very small. Can't put a stitch in it, just a band aid. And that's it. Now, on a scale of 1 to 10, if 10 is the worst pain ever, how bad did it get? You can tell us the truth. It got up to only about a 3 or 4. It wasn't at its that worst. bad. Yeah. And is it hurting right now, now that I've stopped? No. doesn't hurt now at Not all? Not at all. Okay. Thanks a bunch.